We are working to uncover new information about a reported explosion and fire at a house in Bristol. This was the scene last night. Police have been very quiet about this. They were back on scene today. Eyewitness News reporter Brian Yacono was there too. Speaking to neighbors, he's in the control room now. The neighbors I spoke with say there is no doubt in their mind there was an explosion. Sunday morning, police and fire crews were back on the scene. The front of this two and a half story house on State Street in Bristol is buckled. Large beams are wedged from the sidewalk to the door, bracing the front wall. Neighbors tell me Saturday morning they heard a blast. To me, it sounded like a firework, but I was inside my house. Other other people had said that it sounded like it was a big boom. Jeremy Rudman lives just around the corner. Sunday morning, you could still see the signs of what happened. Melted air conditioners and windows boarded up. There were people inside, there were people on the back deck, all kind of huddled, like dazed. You could tell they were dazed. Rudman recalls a chaotic scene, neighbors yelling for those people on the deck to get away from the house. Some had clearly been injured. He was all burnt, he was all burnt up. His skin almost looked like glue. Um, his face was all burnt, his clothes were blown off him. Bristol police have been at the house since the blast. Sunday morning, fire inspectors joined those officers. Rudman and his friends tell me they saw officers taking evidence from the building. Police will only confirm that there is an investigation. Rudman has lived just down the street for about a year now. He says in that time, that house on the corner has fallen into disrepair, but that people were living there. I'm Brian Yacono, Eyewitness News.